Do you think maybe we could make a little music and, and show people how these things are used in, in real life? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Great. Let's do it. So right now, just basically have kind of a, a normal drum setup, close mics on everything, uh, kick, snare, rack tom, floor tom. Um, we also have some underheads, mics that are underneath the cymbals. Um, and I have a kind of a mic that's kind of sitting right over the kick and the snare. Um, and we also have a couple room mics. But in this kind of setup, what I'll traditionally use the Pultex for is I'll use one of them on my snare top as part of my snare top chain. And I'll use another one on that mic that's above the kick and snare. That mic usually ends up being really important in the whole drum sound because um, it captures a really good balance of kick and snare along with everything else without a ton of cymbals. Um, so I'll start by kind of adjusting my snare top to kind of get what I want from that. And right now I'm just adding a bunch of 100 um, on the bottom end and I'll usually kind of find where I like on the top end depending on the snare and the, and the type of the track that we're doing. Without it, with it. I love the low end uh, on a snare. Just like adding a bunch of like gooey 100 hertz just makes it sound big. Um, sometimes if it's a little too much, I can roll off a little bit of that. But I like it right now. I like it all the way. Take it out. It's kind of, it just doesn't sound like as big or as punchy of a snare without it. Okay, the other place that I'll traditionally use the Poltec on drums is this kind of, I call it a front of kit mic, but it's really, it's like sitting right over the kick and snare. We want to get like a big beefy bottom from that mic, so that's where this Poltec will come in. And I just get all this like kind of smack and aggressive like low. Um, again, I might go 100 or I might go a little lower more the like subby kind of low end stuff on the kick and I usually use the top end to kind of dial in a little bit of snap a little bit of sizzle on top of the snare without getting too much from the cymbals just adds all this awesome low end beef without it it's so depressing without it it's so nice to have So Greg's playing guitar in the other room. It's a really nice Martin that he's had that we use all the time. It really sounds gorgeous. It's a little dark, um, and I have a U47 kind of a foot in front of him. And it's going through a 1073, and this, uh, this bottom pull tech here, and then an 1176 going back into Pro Tools. And so right now, I don't have the pull tech engaged, but I've kind of already dialed it with where I like to, uh, to see it, so I'll, I'll engage it. So what I'm doing is I'm adding just a little bit of 100, but I'm also using the attenuate quite a bit, because this guitar can be a little bit boomy on the low end, especially with the U47, which is a, has a really great uh, bottom end. But I still like just a little, a little bit extra on there. Um, but the attenuate's great for kind of cleaning up if it gets to be a little bit too much. On the top end, there's so many things that work just depending on the kind of sound you're going for. The, the shelf on these is really amazing. It's something you don't see on, on a lot of Poltecs that are out there. And so I'm, I'm going with a, with a little bit of that shelf. But I also, as I was kind of playing around, the uh, kind of an 8K, kind of a little bit narrower, is really cool as well. It just adds a really nice little top end. You hear the string kind of pick noise a little bit more in a really kind of pleasing way. But I'm gonna go back to this 5K shelf because I really like that. Okay, so uh, now we're doing bass guitar, 
and uh, we've got the SVT and we have a, a little 4 by, by 10 cabinet in the other room that I've mic'd up with a Telefunken CU-29. And that mic is going to a 1272 into this top Pultec here. I'm just, I'm doing a shelf at 100 just to add like, just get some more of that low end out of there. And I'm actually using a little bit of the attenuate to clean it up just a little bit. Um, and on this, I've kind of gone with sort of a lower mid-range boost to get some of the finger kind of pick noise um, out of it. And I'm just doing a little bit of that, and it's kind of kind of steep. Ha ha ha! 